now i'll be talking about lake effect snow we have five lake and we have heard that lake effect snow during the winter when the weather in the midwest is dominated by clear and cold polar and arctic air people living on the eastern or south southern shore of the lake um, actually get very heavy snow shower snow storm that form on the downhill side of the of those lakes are known as lake effect snow lake effect snow the lakes are responsible for enhancing the amount of snow that fall on its downwind side this snowstorm is also called lake enhanced snow especially when the snow accompanies a cold front or mid latitude cyclone these storms are highly localized extending from just a few kilometers to more than 100 kilometers inland the snow usually falls as a heavy shower or squill in a concentrated zone so centralized is the region of snowfall that one part of the city may get many inches of snow while in another part the ground maybe not getting that much snow the amount of snow that fall can be enormous for example in 2014 in buffalo new york in 40 48 hours duration there have been 65 inches of snow so that happened because of the lake lake effect snow Lake effect snow are most um, numerous from November to the January, the month in the winter. During this month, cold air moves over the lakes when they are relatively warm and often they are not frozen. The difference in temperature between water and air can be as much as 25 degrees. Studies shows that the greater the differences in temperature, the greater the potential for the snow shower. If we look in this in the picture, we can see that as the cold air moves over the warmer water, the air mass is quickly warmed from below and making it more buoyant and less stable. Rapidly, the air sweeps up moistures, soon become saturated. Out over the water, the vapor condenses into the steam fog. As the air continues to warm, it rises and forms cumuliform clouds. So which uh, this cloud actually continues to grow as the air become more unstable eventually these clouds produce a heavy shower of snow which makes the lake seems like a snow factory once the air and cloud reach the downwind side of the lake additional lifting is provided by low hill and the conver convergence of air as it slows down over the rougher terrain in the late winter the frequency and intensity of the lake effect snow often taper off as the temperature contrast between water and air diminishes and the larger portion of lake, lake actually are frozen generally the longer stretch of water over which the air mass travels the greater amount of warmth or moisture dirt actually produced from the lake and the greater the potential for the heavy snow shower we can get in fact studies shows that the for um, significant snow to occur the air must move across 80 kilometers of the open water consequently 
So forecasting lake effect snow depends on a large degree on determining the, phys the path of the air as it flow over the lake. As the cold air moves farther east, the heavy snow shower usually taper off. However, the western slope of the Appalachian mountain produces further lifting, enhancing the possibility of more and heavier showers. The heat given off during the condensation warms the air and as the air descends, the eastern slope compressional heating warms it even more. Snowfall, snowfall then diminished, stopped. And by the time air arrives in Philadelphia, New York or Boston, the remaining trace of the snow shower occurring on the side on the other side of the mountain are cloud drifting overhead see situation lake effect snow are not confined to the great lake only in fact any large unfrozen lake such as great salt lake it can enhance the snowfall when cold relatively dry air sweep over it moreover a type of lake snow lake effect snow occur when cold air moves over a relatively warm ocean so such ocean effect snow we can see so in this lake effect enhanced snow slide we learned that Continental polar and continental arctic the air mass when it is passing over the lake that effectively create a large portion of snow over the downside of the air. So eastern side of the lake. 